Well, and also, um, and I also want to again, kind of expose the story for um, Paula and Al in terms of like again the kind of the unlikeliness of this. Um, I'm not sure where to start here. Actually, let's just start with you. I think it was like you sleep under a table at Sundance. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we, me and Ad had been shooting for about three years, and Clark would talk to me about when you hit a wall, you just have to start asking questions, like ballistically asking questions to try and get around it. And so we, we just started really asking questions of people, like what do we, what should we do, trying to find some film people that knew what we should do. And um, it just kept popping up that we should try and find a producer. And um, But we were in... Because, because you hadn't noticed that that might be a good idea for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were so busy running and, and shooting that, like... Any post-production stuff was totally not on our radar. We were so busy with trying to... Because Clark had been sick and so I, I sold a surfboard and got a plane ticket to go to Sundance and I just figured there'd be producers at Sundance. <laughs> um, Nothing and, conventional about this movie. <laughs> and and so I, I just walked up and down that street in... Uh, Main Street. Yeah. Main Street and... Um, just was trying to talk to people and pitching the film pretty much and and, and just what was the what was the reaction of most people to it i mean um there were some people that were interested in it but i could tell that they didn't they it wasn't for the right reasons but at that point we'd had a, we'd shot a lot of footage and we had a good story together but i was showing raw footage to people so i hadn't cut the trailer yet and um but then i went to the chasing ice premiere which paula was the producer on and um, I, I just saw Paula and had that feeling that – just that gut feeling of like that is the right person and I've got to, I've got to try and find a way to get to, get to that person. And, um, and I, I ended up getting a phone number and, and calling her about 15 times um, during that week. And she was really busy because they were trying to sell a movie. But um, she ended up I, – I, cut a trailer and sent it to her and she, she called me at I think like 6.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning and ju we just – and it was the best because in the theme of the movie, Paula took us in. I called Ad who was in Australia and said, mate, there's this producer that's interested and, um, and can you come over? And he jumped on a flight that day and we drove out to Colorado and then we ended up li living with Paula in Boulder. <laughs> And yeah. um, I mean, Paula, yeah. it's like, you know, how many, I mean, it's like, because you, you, you know, frankly, you must get hit up on some level like this with some frequency in terms of, because there's a lot of people who want a, you know, a, you know, a competent, strong producer to be able to, you know, help shepherd their film through. What, what did you see here that was, that made them different? I'm listening to this story and I'm thinking, what was I thinking? No. <laughs> no. Um, I was so in love with this story. The, when the minute I saw some of the footage, I just kept watching and watching and um, texted out, let's talk. And I was just so connected immediately to the heart and soul of, of Clark and Justin and Gwen. And just the whole idea of mentoring was really um, inspiring to me. And then when I started talking with Alan, getting to know Alan, and they did come and live with me and my husband and my children in our basement for a while. They're still in Colorado. It's been a couple of years. And um, it was just, you know, the, it, as, as humble as Al is, he's very hardworking and dedicated, and he devoured film. Like, he wanted to learn everything that he needed to know to do a good job with the film. He was so dedicated and hardworking. Um, so, you know, basically slept in the editing room so many nights and would get ready for the editor the next morning to be prepared. So, you know, he just was such a, a, an eager student, I guess, you know, is, is the approach that he took to it. And he wanted to do such a good job out of respect to Clark and wanting to tell Clark's story in just a meaningful way. Um, it was just it was just a beautiful project to be a part of. And um, I just couldn't imagine saying no. I just... The minute I saw the footage, I was just like, I told my husband, don't worry, I'm not going to do this film, I'm just going to help these guys. And um, <laughs> it, but that's how we got into it. And before I knew it, you know, we were knee deep into it. But it's, it was just so, I feel so blessed, you know, that, that he called and asked me to be a part of it. 